welcome to my channel. My name is Caffeinated Destiny. I go by Destiny. I am a Disney Dreamlight Valley streamer as well as a few variety cozy games on Twitch and TikTok. If you are new here, welcome on in. And if you are just returning, welcome on back. Today, I want to go over the Scrooge Shop refresh mod as well as how to install this mod. I did notice that there was a few questions as to how to install this mod as well as get the Scrooge refresh to refresh every hour versus every 12 hours. So I wanted to do a more in-depth tutorial as to how to download this mod. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Nexus mods and we are going to get the Scrooge shop extra refresh. The easiest way to find this mod is you can literally just Google it. And I'm serious. Google Scrooge shop refresh Oop. mod. And then it's literally the first thing that pops up. You can't go wrong with this. When you go into this mod, there's going to be two versions of the mod files that you will see. Uh, when you first start, there are requirements. So you're going to have to choose which requirement you are going with. If you're going to go with Bepinex, I don't know the instructions for Bepinex. I don't know how to use Bepinex at all. So I use Melon Loader. So this tutorial is going to be using Melon Loader. I went into Melon Loader and it would probably be beneficial if I capture my cursor here. So with Melon Loader, you want to click get started and you're going to go to the installation. So here there's going to be a couple different installs. The easiest one would be this automated installation. So you want to click on the file link there and let that open up. So I'm going to open up where it's located. So it's opened up in my downloads folder. So we're going to go ahead and click on this installer and it's going to pop open the installer. So with this, you want to select your game. So this is the first thing you want to do is you want to go into wherever your Disney Dreamlight Valley folder is. Now, I do want to put a disclaimer on this. If you have Xbox Game Pass and you're using the free Game Pass version, it does not download the files onto your computer. So you're not going to be able to do this step until you purchase the game and actually have the files. So with my PC, it is in my second drive. So I am going to go into my Steam library because I purchased the game off of Steam. Steam apps, common, Disney Dreamlight Valley, and then you're going to want to click on the application file. So click open. And this is all you do. You want to make sure it's on 6.1 or if you are using this Scrooge Shop Refresh after there is a mod, they will tell you Melon Loader which point version of Melon Loader that file is specific to. So you're going to want to use whatever that Melon Loader number is and click install. So it's going to install Melon Loader and there's going to be a couple files in your Dreamlight Valley folder that you are going to see that are going to be brand new. So some of those folders and I'm going to go over what the new folders are just so that way you know what to expect in your new folder. So the new folders are going to be your mods folder. So this was not here previously. And it's going to be em completely empty because we haven't put the mod in yet. Melon Loader is the other one. So you don't want to do anything with this folder. And you're not going to touch this folder. You're going to leave it be. Other one is user data, which I will go over this later. There's going to be some information in that folder that has been added. So with the Scrooge Shop, we're going to go into manual download. We've already downloaded Melon Loader, so we don't have to do anything. And we're just going to click on download. I usually do slow download because I don't want to pay for stuff. So we're just going to use the slow download. It's going to download the folder and then we're going to go ahead and have that zip folder. So you do want to right click and you want to extract all because you want to unzip that folder. You might have something like breeze zip or any other thing that will extract a zipped folder. You just want to use whatever it is that you have available and you're going to get this DLL folder file. 
So with this DLL file, you want to cut that file out or copy it, whichever one suits your fancy. Go back into Dreamlight Valley. Oops. Steam apps, common, Disney Dreamlight Valley. You want to go back into your Dreamlight Valley folder. So within the Dreamlight Valley folder, within the Dreamlight Valley folder, where we're putting this mod is very simple. We're going to put it in the mods folder. So we're going to paste that in there. And that's all we have to do with that part. You want to go back to the mods. And in order to change this, to be refreshed every hour, you want to go into user data. Within user data, you're going to see this melon preferences file. So it might have a different username, but it's going to say preferences. So you wanna open that up. The easiest way to open this up, if you can't open it, or if it shows up weird. So like, let's say um, it opens with regular notepad, um, it's going to look like this on regular notepad. And so you can still edit this. I just prefer notepad plus plus, and it's this refresh frequency hours. It just looks better on notepad plus plus. So I use that <laughs> with this. It'll say refresh frequency hours. Now, when you first download the mod, the mod is going to say 12 hours on this refresh. It saved the information of when I had this download. So it says one. So you just want to make sure you put it in the number of hours. It can't use um, any decimal numbers. So you can't refresh it every half hour or every hour and a half, anything like that. So you have to pick a number between one and 24. So I like to refresh it every hour and it's every hour that... I get to check the shop and so with the every hour it does refresh it on the hour and it's of your local time and then you just want to make sure you save the fact that it's one hour and don't touch anything else if you do touch anything um i do want to go over this so um enabled true just means that the, the mod is enabled then debug is any like debug logs. You just want to make sure that's on a false. And then you're going to want to start your game. So it's loading up Steam. So you get this user beta, all this information when you first log in. So all this is doing is checking to make sure you have everything that you need for this process. So if you are missing something, it will show up in red on here. So if you are missing any window files, anything that you need, it's going to show up in red and they're going to have a link as to where to download it. The important line that is important from this information is going to be at the very end and it's going to have this screwed shop refresh right here. So it says loading mods and then it'll say your mod. And then right underneath the mod, it should say how many mods loaded. If you have any other mods in here, that number will be different. So this is the important thing is making sure that mo that mod is loaded. If it's not loaded, it will tell you. And then you can go into your game as normal and your screwed shop will refresh. Oh, right now as I'm filming this, it is... 10 17 so my screwed shop isn't going to refresh for the next 45 minutes but the people that have watched my streams all the time will remind me every hour to check the shop and we make sure we try to check it every hour on the half hour so also i did not have this washing machine greetings neighbor before so I do like to check the shop every hour just to kind of see if there's anything new. Sometimes there won't be new things. The disclaimer that I want to talk about. This mod is not going to make it so brand new items pop up in your shop all the time. It's not going to change the RNG of your game. It's just going to rapidly go through all the items that Scrooge's shop is going to have for you. Eventually, you'll get these items, 
but this just kind of speeds up the pace, especially if you're someone that is really heavily into decorating and you just really want to dive into that decorating piece and get all the furniture you can. Please let me know if you find this found this video helpful. I did do a short video on it, but I just wanted to go over any questions that people might have had and have a more detailed, bigger look as to what the files are that you are working with. So let me know if there's any other Disney Dream at Valley tutorials, tips, videos, anything that you would like to see. And thank you for watching.